the United States will begin our final withdrawal, begin it on May 1 of this year. We'll not conduct a hasty rush to the exit. We'll do it, we'll do it responsibly, deliberately and safely. And we will do it in full coordination with our allies and partners who now have more forces in Afghanistan than we do. And the Taliban should know that if they attack us as we draw down, we will defend ourselves and our partners with all the tools at our disposal. Our allies and partners have stood beside us shoulder to shoulder in Afghanistan for almost 20 years. And we're deeply grateful for the contributions they have made to our shared mission and for the sacrifices they've borne. The plan has long been in together, out together. U.S. troops, as well as forces deployed by our NATO allies and operational partners, will be out of Afghanistan before we mark the 20th anniversary of that heinous attack on September 11th. But, but we'll not take our eye off the terrorist threat. We'll reorganize our counterterrorism capabilities and the substantial assets in the region to prevent reemergence of terrorists the threat to our homeland from over the horizon. We'll hold the Taliban accountable for its commitment not to allow any terrorist to threaten the United States or its allies from Afghan soil. The Afghan government has made that commitment to us as well, and we'll focus our full attention on the threat we face today.